Hey guys, welcome back. We are in Florida today. It's a new trail for me. We're going to be trying out Groom. Uh, I parked real close to Drunken Monkey, which is basically the go-to trail here, what everybody loves to do. But before I head over there, I actually wanted to get a chance to just ride a bit of the stuff that's around it to see what it looks like and to give you guys a more general idea of the trails around here than just that one. Okay, enough talking. Let's get some riding done. Groom is located about an hour north of Tampa in the Withlacoochee State Forest and sports a very large network with roughly 60 miles of trails in total. It's split into several loops with a few start point options as well as bailouts, just in case you run out of juice mid-ride. The terrain varies from rolling pine forested hills to low-lying oak hammocks. There are even several miles of trail that go through an abandoned lime rock pit. It's like these mini rollers on the ground that you can pump. A lot of free speed. So I'm not gonna say that there's elevation here, but I am gonna say that it's not flat at all. I'm actually climbing right now. It's so minor that you can't see it, but I'm pretty sure it's good enough that you're gonna get the advantage once you start to get that same slight downhill. Check this out, there's a sinkhole on my left. Beautiful view. Wow, completely unexpected. There's actual climbing here. That was very cool. So it seems to be that every single drop off here is kind of blind. So all the opportunities to get good speed, you don't really know where you're gonna go. It's like one of those places where lap two would definitely be much, much faster than lap one. Oh, sweet, big freaking downhill. I mean, this place is amazing. How often do you see ridges like this in Central Florida? I saw this alternate path into the ridge that looked really cool. Let's give it a shot. Where is it? Where is it? Right here. Oh, that is great. I'm thinking I want to try to climb this. Okay, here we go. The tough part started. Nice. That was challenging. Oh, the camera won't capture it, but I promise it was steep. Every time I come to a place like this, I always wonder if it's... What? what the hell was that? Man, I completely lost it. So, every time I come to a place like this, I have to wonder if it's mining activities or if it's just the sinkholes that make this terrain. It turns out it's mining activities. Round two, can I get it? Twice in a row. 
That was much worse. Let's see. I'm going a little bit slow. That sucked. So close. Oh crap. Seems to have grabbed a lot of passengers in my crash. <laughs> These are so annoying. No way to take them off when you're wearing your gloves. So I have to say that's been one of my weirdest crashes ever. Absolutely no warning. I have no idea what happened. I was just, okay, ground. I didn't even let go of the handlebars all the way to the ground. This is by any measure a significant climb. Nice and flowy. A little sandy there. Couldn't really push as hard as I would have liked. Nice skinny ridge. Whoa! I am doing that again because I did not expect a drop like that. So as I was saying, a very cool skinny ridge. Completely unexpected for Florida. That was a big drop. And big climb. The trails are mostly XC oriented. There isn't much in terms of technical features or challenge, but the continuous ups and downs from both the natural hills and the old mining make it a fast, fun trail. This place flows so nicely. If you're a cross country rider, this trail is a must for you. I clocked in over 30 miles this day with an average speed well above my usual in Florida parks. If you're looking for techier riding with drops, jumps, and rocky rooty terrain, this place isn't for you. Most of the technical riding is centered in drunken monkey. So much free speed. Pump, pump, pump. My original plan was to get to it in one video, but since my short trek around it ended up being a few hours, I decided to split it into two videos. I'm definitely pedaling, but pedaling goes a long way here. It's a fast, fast trail. Good thing about this hub is that you can know when I'm pedaling and when I'm using the terrain. Do I fit there? Ooh, yes, I do. Problems of wide bars. That was a pretty low hanging tree. I don't get why there's so little video of this place outside of Drunken Monkey. I'm climbing with actual switchbacks. It's a little bit sandy, but it is fast.
there's a few sections that are seriously flat. I'm not showing you all of them because if I show you everything, there's no way to keep the video around the 12 minute mark, which is usually my target. If you look at the crew map, the loops are color coded. The level of difficulty is pretty much the same throughout. I follow the blue loop with a slight detour into the yellow loop and red connectors. It's my opinion that the most fun stuff is in the northern part of the trails, as this is where there are more pronounced dips. In comparison, to the southern part of the trails is flatter without much challenge. If you do do the blue loop, you'll encounter both. Perhaps the ideal plan is to go from Drunken Monkey to Sugar Mountain loop in one direction, and then turn around and do it in the other, instead of doing the full loop. I'm not really sure about this, but it's probably what I'll try next time I'm there. I'd also recommend hitting Drunken Monkey first, and then doing this loop. Drunken Monkey is short but fun, so it won't drain much of your energy. One of these loops instead is a definite challenge. Well guys, after almost 30 miles, we are almost back at the car. This place was so much fun. And uh, I think it's pretty obvious by now. I skipped Drunken Monkey, I actually went by it. But I'm gonna go to my car, I'm gonna refuel a little bit, have some bars, some Gatorade, whatever, and then I'm gonna head back. Because I think that place deserves its own video. So this way we can do both. Well guys, that's it for today. I'm gonna have this, wait here a little while, recharge a little bit. And then we're going to head over into Drunken Monkey. So if you want to see that video, that one is going to be up next week. Until then, I will see you for the next one, and happy riding.